Hello all, welcome to another episode of Thoughtful Leaders Play College Dunya. Today we have Mr. K. Gautam Garu, CEO of Risale Institute of Management. Uh, Gautam Garu is a BTEC graduate and an MBA, MA psychology postgraduate. Mr. K. Gautam is an educationist by profession, first and uh, later a businessman. He has started his career in his father's business organization, Risali Institute of Management, which is, which is a unit of Risali Edison's India Private Center. Like this institute is, which is mostly known for its aviation hotel management courses and very diploma, diplomas of uh, aviation, hospitality and psychology. Uh, uh, like, hello? Yeah. Are, are you able to hear me, sir? Yeah, yeah, Rohit, I can hear you. Yeah. So, uh, Mr. K. Gautam is currently working as a director and the CEO of Risali Education India Private Limited since 2017, and he is playing a significant role of facilitating and offering quality education to the students. Welcome to College Dunia, sir. Thank you. Thanks for inviting me. That was a brief introduction to uh, begin with. Thank you. Thanks for introducing. Yeah, thank you very much, sir. So, uh, before going into the interview, like our first question is. Uh, like being the CEO of Risali Institute of Management. So what is your philosophy of leadership? So like how do you describe your leadership style actually? Sure. Uh, to begin with the, uh, before uh, uh, starting the session, I would like to thank uh, Kale Duni for uh, facilitating this opportunity, like uh, connecting across to me. And uh, like uh, it's, it, it's a great opportunity for me and a privilege because I'm standing with the great uh, market leaders along with, along with uh, uh, super educationists because they given valuable feedback, valuable remarks on how the challenges are in the within the industry and uh, of the industry too, and uh, given valuable feedback and suggestions to the uh, to the students who who needs to get a proper awareness on uh, on the kind of education level we have, on the uh, kind of education system and the kind of courses we have. So the opportunities where we uh, get after completion of our, our uh, uh, aspect degree graduation or aspect postgraduate. So it's a great privilege uh, to stand among the great leaders of the industry and uh, uh, I would like to thank all of them for the, and applaud them for their uh, great efforts in their valuable con contribution uh, towards this program. And it's a great initiative uh, uh, from the side of Kale Dunia too. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. So to begin with uh, my kind of, uh, see, uh, see, it's 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 an uh, early days for me because I uh, started as a uh, marketing professional. As I started as an executive in my uh, father's organization, where uh, I got to learn. I been in the middle level management. I got to uh, have an experience and then have an opportunity to meet other team members and other uh, senior fact senior uh, executives and work on with them and on a day to day basis and to. Uh, know about the challenges which we face in the industry. So later on, I uh, became a tutor. I became a faculty, and I taught. Uh, I taught uh, communications like business communications, corporate communications, and uh, wide variety wide variety of courses for the BBA aviation management and as well as MBA aviation management too. So uh, the philosophy is simple. Uh, like uh, the main philosophy and the core philosophy is simple. Like so, Visali has been. Uh, standard on the core values of like uh, educating or like uh, offering the quality educations to the students in the rural areas and as well as in the semi-urban areas. So when you see uh, there will be an inequality in the distribution of education systems and the education of institutions across India because we when we uh, speak about education system and we speak about the students maximum percentage of uh, students would be comp uh, comprised from the uh, urban and uh, urban and semi-urban and metropolitan cities. But whereas rural uh, area students are neglected and being, being ignored. So uh, my kind of uh, leadership is to like uh, take care of everyone in the team and uh, give valuable suggestions to them and uh, giving the right kind of and ample kind of time to them and right kind of opportunities to them to grow them this and uh, along with the company too. And uh, at the end of the day, it's a uh, business where uh, we see our we see our core values doesn't divert it, uh, in the process of uh, intake of admissions and process of growing the business. So my uh, simply to, in, in simpler terms, my kind of leadership would be uh, affiliative leadership, delegate delegation, 
and uh, I'm a people's person where I listen to more of his suggestions from the team and uh, from the core team and uh, as well as from the marketing team and as well as the faculty. I would be acting as a catalyst in between all the uh, departments where uh, from uh, 9 to 6 I would be in the campus and off the campus I would be uh, meeting uh, industry people where uh, I would I would pitch in and I would uh, give a brief about our institutions and the kind of students we have and that creates an opportunity that's create an uh, bridge uh, creates a bridge in between the students and our students and as well as the industry and they give uh, invaluable support and they give the opportunities like internships training programs and uh, placement opportunities so uh, these are my regular day uh, fills in okay so that's a uh, very good to hear, so like you are completely engaged with the challenge of management in each and every part of the activity going on. True. Yeah, that's, a, that's what a true leader does for his own way. Yeah. Uh, so coming on to the next question, sir. Being the CEO of challenge of management, so like how do you strategize about like the key programs and the plans for marketing as well as the administration of your institute? Yeah, planning is very important tool uh, in, te- in any uh, terms of uh, management. So without planning, you cannot uh, grow as you want to. And uh, before planning, you need to re- uh, you need to analyze the and you need to make certain research and you need to make uh, certain findings to what the market is or what the market is into and what kind of needs and requirements present market uh, is being at present right now and the clients and the customers what they do exactly need and what they exactly need from an institution or from an organization. So our client base is of totally parents and as well as comprises parents and students. So before you introduce an uh, course or before you introduce any kind of product you need to analyze the market first. You need to research the market first and the factors which influence the positive or the negative factors which influence uh, in introducing the product or in the in the cons, in the conception stage of your product, uh, you need to uh, pitch down the factors which are affecting them, and uh, you need to uh, when you have the seventy percent of when you have seventy percent of factors, positive factors which uh, in favor of your product, in favor of your uh, services, then you can definitely uh, test trial your product or test trial your course or test trial your services. Then. Uh, that's how you analyze the whole uh, requirement or the need uh, for the courses, uh, for the new kind of courses. And uh, that's how you strategize your uh, your uh, introduction of courses, your promotion of courses, your promotion of business. And uh, you uh, ultimately, you want to uh, have a maximum reach to the customer base or the students. So maximum reach can be uh, happens uh, when you our our core marketing our core ground level marketing is like interacting with the students at their college levels so it's the main platform where we uh, interact with the students and interact with the uh, uh, faculty as well interact with the uh, principals interact with the different chairmen of the institutions where we get the opportunity where we uh, have a demonstrations with them where we have an uh, orientation se- sessions with them and we explain the kind of uh, need for the uh, exclusive courses like uh, aviation management or hospitality management or psychology or film uh, and media related courses where they'll get an opportunity where, because there has been a slump in the industries when you take uh, software industry when you take manufacturing industries it been uh, uh, they, 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 it been uh, stagnated these industries were stagnated so if you see the uh, surveys if you see the re, uh, like reports and all india skill report and all about 47% of uh, Indian graduates are likely to be employed, only 47%. And the rest of them are not uh, not eligible for uh, for the employment. So you, you can see the uh, vacuum in there, you can see the va- gap, you can see the uh, scenario, how, it's, uh, how it has turned up. In, it, it is the report which has been released in the year of 2019. So technical skills and the attitude ma- matters the most. So coming back to the uh, strategies, uh, st- strategies and the um, different marketing techniques which we use uh, at the ground level, uh, at the ground level, we use uh, demonstrations, we use inductions and orientations where we explain our courses across uh, across the institutions, and later on uh, we 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 been associated with College Dunia, we been associated with uh, several kinds of uh, web 
digital platforms where we uh, promote our colleges where we promote our courses in this different kinds of service providers platforms where we get an uh, opportunity to meet new students and to different from different backgrounds and different regional and demographic backgrounds and economical backgrounds uh, and we explain them and we connect with them over a phone or in uh, like video conferencing or like physically meeting them and we have a core uh, pr teams in different uh, areas of andhra pradesh and telangana as well and uh, another another uh, set of no, teams are working in kolkata and uh, odisha as well so and uh, branding in televisions branding in radio and branding in newspapers uh, we, the, these are the methodologies which we follow these are the uh, basic normal and general uh, methodologies which we follow and uh, but we do the ground level marketing uh, as an essential marketing tool which we use uh, across across the all uh, marketing techniques so that's give an uh, overall advantage and overall adva- advantage and edge an over uh, the the competitors because we we we, we already uh, have an we already the students would be ha- already having an feel or an already having an experience about the courses we offer the kind of faculty we have the kind of training sessions we have and uh, the kind of internships we provide the kind of connects we have the kind of associations we we been associated with the big like a uh, bird group like uh, ground like ground handling service com- companies like uh, major players like bird group globe ground india like uh, air india sats and uh, many more so even uh, with the airlines to indigo uh, spice jet with all the uh, majority players and the industry leaders we been associated with so our hr team our uh, Uh, hr director and hr team plays a vital role over here like uh, philly uh, like uh, lizing uh, the interviews lizing the trainings lizing the uh, like uh, internships in the industry for our students yeah that's how it, it's been done yeah uh, so uh, like going to the next question sir uh, like this is most of the uh, students want to know like uh, uh we all know that the education system in india and comparing to it with the western countries like it is completely yeah. different and like the education system is structured very differently right so cool. in your experience like what can an inbound student gain from joining your college at risali true uh see uh, fundamentally uh, historically our education system has been uh, on 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 the basis of uh, vedic and uh, providing the vedic education later on uh, after the uh, the england or the uh, dutch came into our in this, uh, india and colonizing the people they use uh, our human resource uh, to uh, to do the clerical work so education in uh, pre uh, post pre independence era used to be uh, only uh, it produces only clerks it produces only uh, okay lower level lower level of uh, lower level of uh, professionals who can who, who can communicate well with the britishers who can uh, like uh, help them uh, in reaching out the people in reaching out uh, for the documentation purpose for the reaching of their they they they, they uh, their advantage not not to the uh, our advantage so so uh, post independence the uh, reputation has been changed the uh, scenario has been changed uh, even the institutions has been uh, introduced the prestigious institutions the universities uh it has been uh, like a uh, rapid growth you can see even the uh, turn up uh, turn up of uh, female ca- female uh, enrollment is drastically has been increased so uh, education system in india uh, primarily concentrates on values primarily concentrates on uh, what do we call it's a mass le- mass level of or a maximum level of uh we have maximum level of students in uh, across it's the third largest education system we have in across the globe uh, and coming uh, like uh, besides china and uh, usa so our our students are uh, students population is more we are densely populated so the structure is very uh, the fundamental structure of the framework is very stringent is very planned so we we we, we have uh, 10th standard plus plus 1 plus 2 and uh, plus 3 or plus 4 and then plus 2 uh, for post graduation students and for phd according to the survey 0.5% uh, has been the enrollment number uh, for phd scholars in india so when you see the scenario uh, 
now the education policy uh, the new education policy 2020 has been introduced uh, uh, introduced to the mainstream on to the media and uh, into the society also into the people so whether uh, how does it turn up and how does it how does it we uh, take it forward how does the ugc take it forward university the university grants commission or the government of uh, india take it forward and whether we are ready whether we have that infrastructure whether we we whether faculty are trained because faculty has to be trained uh, on a different levels because when you see western countries see uh, there are multiple exit and multiple entry uh, policies so even uh, we 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 we, uh, we tend to uh, see it we tend to implement those kind of policies in uh, education 2020 policy which is a very uh, advantages to and benefits the students but we need to uh, have and we need to analyze that how far we can take it forward how far uh, the students get benefited how far the uh, the society is the re- so the society whether the society is ready or the faculty is ready or the talent management is ready or the industries or the university syllabus or the curriculum or the academics are ready or not so we need to analyze that first we need to uh, like we shouldn't introduce in a ra- in a rapid pace we should uh, in- introduce in a step step and in a fundamental level wise manners so that uh, at the end of the day students get benefited from it so that's how uh, in the, the education uh, system has been spread out in india it with uh, when you compared with the uh, western countries the education system in india is most valued and uh, a low cost effective one and uh, the kind of opportunities after the education we can move to uh, uh, foreign countries we can the migration happens we we can go for a higher education as well and uh, the kind uh, after we we we, we uh, the instructions the medium would be in english or hindi so uh, indian speak well and uh, indian speak uh, the communications indian speak english well so uh, this on an however high on an level uh, we 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 been valued we our education system has been valued uh, in the across the globe but at the same time on the other side of the coin uh, even our education system has been uh, criticized uh, in the mainstream because the kind of uh, the kind of uh, failures we see the kind of suicide rates the kind of atrocities done uh, in the in the students level of uh, fraternity so the, the these all the kind of uh, parents pressurizing students faculty pressurizing the students the society and the structure and the whole system pressurizing the students and uh, making a student uh, feel uh, feel anxious feel uh, worried about their careers worried about the, the, the job placements and all so a bit criticize a bit the criticization uh, critic uh, criti- uh, criticizing on the education system as well but uh, it's valued most in at the at the other parts of the world but we are uh, the the, uni- the university grants commission and the other university the private universities especially than the prestige universities we have 20 iims we have 16 iits and other prestige universities we have numerous we have at least 900 universities in india if i'm not wrong i, I may be wrong so uh, so these universities fundamentally uh, like trying to imbibe core values trying to build up uh, character in the students and trying to make an uh, make a student ready for the industry and uh, turn in the, uh, turn a student for, as a good citizen for the nation so at the global level uh, you can see uh, Ind- uh, indian students are doing well uh, in terms of academics in terms of uh, in terms of uh, contemporary in terms of unconventional uh, unconventional ideologies in, con- in terms of unconventional activities in, ter- in terms of entrepreneurship in, ter- in terms of internships so uh, it's a uh we can see it's an uh, what do we call uh, it's it's advantages for the students and uh, it's been paved out well okay yeah uh, so sir coming to the next question could you please say uh, about how the curriculum of resale instruct management like will be ensuring the best practice of the industry but because we all know like right now the students have become more mature like they are looking for what kind of activities they need to do after the education so like to really say like how does the curriculum of risali helps in giving the best is like best practice of the industry how it will so risali follows uh, uni- university curriculum university based curriculum and university based academics and university based uh, pedagogy in terms of academics and in terms of non academics we follow an uh, multifaceted uh, 
ట్రైనింగ్ ప్రోగ్రామ్స్ ట్రైనింగ్ పాలసీస్ అండ్ డిజైన్ ఆఫ్ ట్రైనింగ్స్ వేర్ ఎస్ స్టూడెంట్స్ గెట్ శాంపుల్ ఆఫ్ ఆపర్చునిటీస్ అండ్ హ్యాస్ హ్యాస్ అన్ ఆప్ శాంపుల్ ఆఫ్ ఆపర్చునిటీస్ టు డెవలప్ హిమ్సెల్ఫ్ ఇన్ టర్మ్స్ ఆఫ్ కమ్యూనికేషన్ స్కిల్స్ ఇన్ టర్మ్స్ ఆఫ్ సాఫ్ట్ స్కిల్స్ ఇన్ టర్మ్స్ ఆఫ్ పర్సనాలిటీ డెవలప్మెంట్ ఇన్ టర్మ్స్ ఆఫ్ అదర్ టెక్నో ఇండస్ట్రీ రిలేటెడ్ స్కిల్స్ అండ్ టెక్నాలజికల్ స్కిల్స్ అండ్ మేనేజ్మెంట్ స్కిల్స్ వేర్ హీ కెన్ డెవలప్ హిమ్సెల్ఫ్ అండ్ హీ కెన్ డెవలప్ హీస్ అట్రిబ్యూట్స్ అండ్ క్యారెస్ట్రిక్స్ అండ్ బీఏ బెటర్ పర్సన్ ఆర్ బీఏ బెటర్ ప్రొఫెషనల్ యాజ్ వీ ఆల్వేస్ స్పీక్ అబౌట్ సో దట్ ఇట్స్ గివ్ హెస్ ఇట్ గివ్స్ అన్ అడ్వాంటేజ్ టు హిమ్ వెన్ వీ విత్ హీస్ పీఎస్ అమౌ హీస్ పీఎస్ అండ్ ఇట్స్ అండ్ ఆల్వేస్ అండ్ సి ఫండమెంటల్ అండ్ నీడ్ ఆఫ్ ది హవర్ బికాస్ Uh, as i already spoken about uh, the kind of scenario what we have in india is 47% of our graduates are employable the rest of them are not uh, unemployable we can say it's it's an uh, very it's a very depressing uh, kind of uh, report we we we, we uh, very sad and I, we we been sad and kind of report we have seen about it so it's very uh, unfortunate uh, to say the kind of scenario what we have in our nation right now so it's always advantageous it's always uh, benefits them when they uh, learn when they participate when they practice right kind of uh, skills and right kind of uh, competencies and they can be uh, they can pitch it out in the interview sessions they can pitch it in the presentations they can pitch it and whenever they 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 have given an opportunity and they can show off their skills and uh, they can they can be valued for it they any 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 employer or any uh, organization would be happy to uh, welcome uh, these kind of students and these kind of professionals so uh, we uh, our uh, curriculum our training curriculum and our uh, training programs are designed uh, in meticulously and designed uh, in a fun loving manner and designed uh, in a practical manner and uh, uh, we believe in our uh, learning by doing so practically when we uh, do certain kind of programs certain kind of activities we learn a- a- along with it we 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 experience uh, a right kind of uh, right share of uh, exposure we experience right share of uh, a feel about it we experience right kind of uh, characteristics of dynamics of that particular activity so that uh, he can develop uh, those skills so any skills can be uh, any skill can be learned in a period of 6 months as uh, psychology says but you need but it has to be a continual effort it has to be a sincere effort so at the end of the day uh, students attitude matters the matters the most and uh, to give an example uh, the kind of training programs which we conduct in our institutions are like uh, we have uh, radio clubs where uh, people uh, read newspapers where people uh, pitch in and uh, uh, tell stories about where uh, people uh, uh, develop different contents and uh, they uh, present it to or or over the radios and other uh, it's an uh, rotational shift basis and every student has to do it who has enrolled for that particular club so this uh, this gives them an advantage this gives them an opportunity to learn so uh, we have tv studios we have uh, we make them to sit in front of a camera we get them to sit in front of video camera so that they can pitch in and they can uh, speak and and read about read a few lines uh, from the newspaper they can present as an anchors or the or the content del- deliverables so they can uh, have that uh, they can sh- sh- uh, shell out their inhibitions they can sh- dec- uh, they can uh, eradicate their uh, inhibitions shy fear tension uh, when uh, they they given an opportunity when they given a chance to speak in front of uh, people people especially known and unknown and uh, at the time of interviews also we we see nervous break, breakdowns we see uh, anxious uh, anxiety attacks uh, we see even uh, they they have the content they have the right kind of material in them but they unable to uh, present it out because it, it happens because of the uh, because they uh, couldn't practice it out well so as a platform as a college as an institution we 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 know uh, we analyze and uh, we uh, 
we our pedagogy or our uh, methodologies and uh, we design uh, in an advantages or in, in benefit which benefits the students uh, which uh, have a value for the students at the at the day at the end of the day so uh, and the other kinds of programs uh, like uh, sports in our college they can try different kinds of games they can uh, try uh, like uh, explaining their entrepreneurial ideas and we would uh, we we would encourage them by uh, like uh, introducing them to the uh, industry people and they can have an internship over there they can develop their idea they can uh, uh, build their idea and uh, they can start their entrepreneurial journey too so these are uh, the training sessions we conduct in visali and the uh, and meticulously done and uh, and it is a multifaceted training programs we conduct and uh, the practical exposure which we give uh, the kinds of internships which we provide which we facilitate at the end of the students get benefited and students uh, develop themselves in a better manner and uh, in a quality manner okay so yeah that's a very nice thing sir because it's like you are making them uh, like industry ready by the industry ready yeah. Yeah. yeah that's a very good thing why because it's like Uh, we all we all know like actually people have the not in talent in them but actually they can't yeah. express them in a proper manner yeah true, uh, true, so true. going on to the next question sir like uh, being the ceo of risali institute of management so what do you think should be the risali's top priority over the next 5 to 10 years see our top priority is uh, whatever our what uh, whatever philosophy says like uh, imbibing right kind of skills imbibing uh, quality education in the students and uh, reaching out maximum students as possible as we can so uh, our fundamental policy would be uh, like cater our services to an extent where students get benefited to the maximum students get uh, can get can benefit benefited and we want to be a support system for the students uh, when after their uh, after they get re- uh, relieved from our college and after they been placed in their uh, uh, jobs in their work in the industry even we want to be in the supporting system uh, to them so that uh, it builds an uh, trustworthy it builds an uh, right kind of uh, platform for them and as well as uh, for us to uh, create more opportunities to the uh, next level of students so our philosophy is uh, one thing and we uh, primarily and we uh, quite uh, aggressively move on uh, and we see that uh, it doesn't get diverted uh, in the way of growing ourselves and grow in terms of business in terms of expansion of, of our college as well and uh, the in the next 10, 10 to 15 years i believe uh, the kind of uh, curriculum the kind of uh, training methodologies with the, the with the trends of the industries with the requirements of the industries uh with the requirements of the uh, overall uh, business ecosystem we would uh, like to uh, like uh, uh, produce right kind of students uh, for the industry so n- this is how and as well as uh, catering the right kind of facilities catering the right kind of uh, making them to uh, develop themselves and making them to achieve what they dream about and as well as we we as an institution we as an organization want to evolve and want to expand across india so uh, that's our uh, core uh, philosophy and core uh, uh, what do we call uh, the a- next object ob- objectives or our next goals for the next 10 years and we w- we would like to uh, introduce different verticals in the uh, see we started as a hospitality management college later on we uh, turned into aviation management college we introduced aviation management uh, courses diploma courses pba aviation management and mba aviation management and uh, graduation post graduation courses we we tried uh, like we uh, we seen the demand in the uh, like uh, film and uh, media related courses too and we introduced it and uh, like this we want to uh, see see that uh, what kind of uh, peculiar courses or the peculiar verticals we have and to develop and to uh, according to them and to uh, promote the courses which would uh, satisfy the industry needs and the peculiar trends which happens in the industry so if you see uh, entrepreneurship uh, and the digital the the 
edu- edu- uh, educational uh, technology kind of organizations or the companies so we we would try out uh, our uh, our luck we try would try out our uh, opportunities in those kind of areas too so we are coming with an uh, we we in next 6 uh, months or one year we coming with an uh, application based uh, services where uh, our uh, where it primarily concentrates on uh, providing or just uh, serving out the communication skills and the english to the uh, various kinds of uh, categorical students it can be it could be open to all so it's in the conception stage right now we are researching and our team is researching it's been uh, this project is uh, uh, my father's brain child he's closely monitoring it he's clo- he's heading it and uh, certain research programs are being conducted on it whether uh, it's vi- whether it's viable or feasible for us to uh, offer that kind of uh, web based or an application based uh, services in terms of communication skills soft skills and english english language so it has to be fun loved and it has to be accessible and uh, we see it has to be like uh, innovative innovative and uh, convenient for the students or the person who uses it so it would be a personalized uh, application so we it's in it's under conception stage right now uh, when we are done with our research when we are done with our findings we would uh, definitely work on and implement the application uh, we would be uh, like uh, offering the we would take it into the market and see how would uh, uh, how would uh, the application pays out and how does it uh, would uh, what do we call how does it grow and how does it benefit benefits us yeah in terms of monetary benefits in terms of value okay so these are the uh, primary objectives for us for the next 10 years or so and 15 years yeah okay so uh, like coming to the next question sir so like what would you like the people to know about your institute that, will, that they may not know actually till now yeah uh, our name risali itself uh, uh, finds the people find it very peculiar very 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 uh, foreign and uh, very uh, difficult to understand risali is a word italian word where it where it means uh, rise again so uh, we named uh, we we given a lot of thought we live, given a lot of uh, thought process to actually come up with that name because uh, see uh, we in a human life in an individual uh, person life or in a professional life we have fluctuations we have highs and lows we have failures and su- successes but uh, education has to be and uh, the well being and the personality characteristics has to be uh, uh, always has to be balanced so that uh, he he can uh, face any kind of challenges he can uh, any kind of uh, problems or conflict uh, conflicts or complications in his life so education is one of the powerful to powerful tools so uh, we so that's how we come up with we came up with the idea of uh, for uh, naming our institute as the risal institute of management so it would uh, give, uh, by introdu- by introducing ourselves as an educationist by introducing ourselves as an institution we would like to give an uh, opportunity for the students uh, where uh, his students get the placement opportunity not as a placement opportunities but then uh, he can develop himself as a better human being all put together because when i spoke about the uh, tension free life when i spoke about the personality development the competencies the characteristics the traits and uh, we 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 have fluctuations of uh, uh, highs and lows in, in our life is to a student or an individual has to be ready to face that kind of uh, elements in his or her life so education plays a major role here so that's why uh, that quality of ed- the quality of education the, the kind of services we want to provide in, in uh, to we we wanted to give opportunity to the students so we came up with the institution name of risal institute of management it's a naturally an italian word and which suggests the rise again so you shouldn't be uh, stagnated we shouldn't be stranded at your failure when you when you see the failure you you have to be bounce you you have to bounce back you have to create a name for yourself you have to be successful even if you see failures that's how uh, the word uh, suggests so uh, apart from from this we 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 been branded as an aviation management college but uh, but 
as a college itself we we want to project ourselves as an institute more because uh, college isn't a conventional and traditional uh, institution where you uh, offer your uh, traditional courses but as an institute you uh, you uh, you can pitch in and you can uh, offer wide range of uh, services like uh, placement services like higher education like uh, uh, recruitment services like uh, training services like uh, other services where students get benefited out of it so we want to uh, uh, the outlook of visali has to be uh, and uh, it should it shouldn't be we shouldn't be uh, stick to aviation management or we shouldn't be known for hospital and management or we shouldn't be as an psych we shouldn't be be as an psychology institute or we should be shouldn't be known for uh, film academy it recently has to be known uh, to the students as an uh, uh, 360 uh, dimensional uh, service oriented uh, and uh, education oriented institute so that's how we want to see recently and that's how we want to build and that's how we want it to grow uh, in, in the years years to come so uh, this 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 is the brief about uh, the uh, what, what what the how the outlook has to outlook of recently has to be in the market Okay. So going on to the next question, sir. Like, uh, what do you see Risali's uh, greatest strengths? What do you see as Risali's great strengths? Yeah, uh, the great strengths of Risali is one of the great strengths of Risali is our uh, talent management, our talent acquisition, our our core talent talent team. We call it the faculty or the tutors or the trainers or the guest faculties or the parting faculties or anyone, even the directors also. so uh, that's the major strength and the kind of infrastructure comes second because we have tv studio we have uh, english language lab we have sim two similar halls we have in conf- uh, similar halls we have conference hall like a board room where the student come in and uh, conduct presentations and uh, pre- and uh, workshops over here and present board meetings over here because uh, the kind of uh, curriculum what uh, what an mba student or an mba post graduate has in his academics is like uh, uh, corporate communications is the main subject or the etiquettes in the business or the uh, etiquettes in the language would be one of the major uh, traits a, a student has to imbibe himself uh, from the college itself so we facilitated board room for it to serve the purpose we facilitated tv studio we facilitated uh, english language lab we facilitated aviation management lab where uh, to a, a good number of students comes uh, in the aid room a model of aircraft we have in our campus it, they sit in they, they sit over there and the trainer comes and uh, the, he explains about the influences the explains about the day to day activities the he explains about the responsibility shared in between uh, the cabin crew or the flight attendants and the pilot and uh, how to uh, deal with the uh, customers how to serve the high uh, like privileged uh, customers or the clients or the passengers when they when they uh, confront when they come across the, the when they come across at their actual and uh, their professional lives so before getting into the industry we would uh, like to have uh, train our students for the industry requirement and the industry trend purpose so that they uh, they, they shouldn't be felt uh, uh, clueless in when they uh, join their uh, respective industries they can be uh, they can be uh, very much valued enough they they would be very much uh, Uh, positioned enough when they have these kind of traits and the, the qualities or the skill sets so uh, the kind of infrastructure comes second and the training programs and uh, the training programs which i spoke spoken earlier uh, and the kind of internships and the kind of uh, team we have uh, who uh, liaises and who uh, facilitates the kind of internships across all the industries relevant industries and related industries uh, across india and as well as uh, foreign too so we conduct internships we conduct training programs we have an association with uh, numerous universities in malaysia and singapore where our students uh, get a talk, get an opportunity to travel in malaysia and study over there and uh, participate in uh, certification course over there and they can get the <coughs> sorry international exposure over there so these are the main uh, strengths and the uh, 
the associations we have <coughs> the stakeholders we have the support system we have so these all comprises our uh, advantages and our uh, what do we call our strengths as an as an uh, institution okay um, <coughs> uh, so what are the some of the biggest challenges you see both for higher education in general and for risal institute management specifically the kind of uh, challenges uh, in general are as i spoke in earlier uh, the kind of unemployability the kind of uh, see right now we we been badly affected uh, with covid 19 with the pandemic spread over the uh, globe itself so we 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 thought of like uh, economic recession uh, would be around the corner but uh, we 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 couldn't see it would be in the form of pandemic or an uh, epidemic so covid 19 uh, is the biggest challenges uh, for the any institution or the universities across the globe because there are many universities who has shut sh- shut down their operations yeah, across the globe because of the pandemic uh, the low enrollment of uh, students the low intake of students in their uh, universities financially university has to be supported well financially university has to run because uh, they have to they they have fixed uh, uh fixed expenses fixed, fixed monetary uh del but all monetary transfers to the uh, faculty the staff the support staff everything so universities has shut down their operations so the, this is the biggest challenge even certain colleges certain institutions certain universities in india to or uh, finding our uh, finding our uh, like uh toes back so fighting our uh, stand to withstand in the at uh, the present scenario has become the major challenge uh, for us even for in general even for risali even for everyone so uh, apart from the covid uh, scenario of covid 19 uh, we say the uh, kind of uh, what do we call it? uh inequality in the distribution of education system uh, across india we geographically if you see the students migrates uh, from rural areas to urban urban areas the students uh, migrate from one uh, city to the another city uh, students from vizag join in hyderabad hyderabad student uh, from vizag join in Bang- bangalore universities students from uh, visakhapatnam uh, joins in uh, chennai universities so private universities or government universities the the migration happens because of the uh, vacuum because of the right kind of uh, institutions are not present in these uh, in the in, in our geographical locations so it's an opportunity and it's a challenge as well so the inequal di- distribution of the uh, stu- the education system across india is one of the major challenge so the uh, government you know, is taking initiations Uh, they are uh, con- uh, they are they they are taking initiatives. They are conducting uh, different kind of programs to fill in this kind of vacuum. Vacuum, and uh, even they are encouraging private universities and private uh, private uh, facilitators to uh, build up universities in uh, semi-urban or in uh, semi-urban areas so that the uh, the talent or the students uh, doesn't scatter much or doesn't travel much. so even you see after uh, completion of the uh, plus 2 or the uh, graduation we uh, it's been a trend it's been a trend and uh, it's been a tentative for the students to uh, join in the foreign foreign universities so the the, the if you see uh, the scholarships which they get the uh, fees uh, which they has to pay and which has which they has to pay is premium so when you uh, compare uh, education systems when you compare uh, universities in india it's not we we we, we uh, a, 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 every universities as uh, categorizingly uh, categorically they uh, they what do we call they they offer the services and they charge nominal fees so it's better uh, we uh, build up new universities we encourage you uh, private partners to build up new universities we it's better to uh, what do we call uh, take initiations uh, to uh, facilitate new colleges or institutions for especially abled students as well 
and uh, we need to encourage more uh, female candidates more female students uh, to take up the courses uh, in the universities too so we need to encourage the uh, female gender to take up the courses or to take up uh, the to take up their uh, higher educational studies so the, this is a challenge so even the uh, students attitude has to be has to be changed so so 30% of the students uh, doesn't uh, have a clue uh, in the kind uh, doesn't have a clue in which kind of courses they join in which kind of institutions they join uh, out of pressure from the families out of pressure from the uh, peers out of pressure from the uh, societal uh, structure they simply join in the institutions uh, and they doesn't without their interest without their passion and they simply join and they simply uh, to they simply uh, lose their interest towards the education when we encourage them according to their interest when we encourage them according to their intelligences we have uh, multiple intelligences uh, for in, you know, multiple intelligences specialized intelligences and general intelligence uh, in, a, in, a, in every individual so if your uh, interest is in your in arts if your interest is in science so you have to be encouraged in that uh in that path in that direction rather than forcing him to uh, take up uh take up what what the trend is right now what the uh, demanded uh, most demanded courses right now so it it uh, it encourages the students it have a, it it would it would uh, build up a confidence in him if he uh, takes up his interested his passionate uh, course and uh, he would be very much happy he would be very much uh what do you call a uh, better of person he has rather himself so that uh, he can prove uh, at the end of the day so these are the challenges even the, the attitude of the parents has to be changed the attitude of the society has to be changed uh, even they they need to change their attitudes they need to change their uh, uh, what do we call uh, not pressurizing the students or not pressurizing the uh, Uh, their they be their uh, relatives or their uh, students as well and in particular or the sons or their da- daughters so you see uh, the scenario happen to be uh, existing right now is like edu- uh, after completion of education either you uh, you have to get employed or you have to uh, get you know, go enroll for an higher education these two options has been uh, very you can see the trends in in our system but uh, no one uh, no one emphasizes on uh, the kind of internships which you need to take the kind of summer internships the kind of uh, technical skills the kind of uh, technical competencies which you need to build up before uh, you take up a course or before you join an industry or you, before you whether it can be software industry whether it can be architecture whether it can be uh, civil whether it can be a farmer a student has to be uh, uh well equipped with the right skills a student has to be passionate enough uh, where he can uh, give his under person where he can work hard where he can work hard ethically also and uh, paves a way way out for himself and uh, and uh, move towards the success so we you can see the suicide tendencies you can see the uh, suicidal rates in india in every minute a student uh, attempts to uh, attempts for suicide uh, so these are uh, con- co- concerning uh, aspects in it's a concerning elements in terms of uh, students fraternity in terms of uh, our society so the talent management the inequality in the education system and uh, the right kind of technological uh, universities and right kind of uh, multifaceted university has to come up whether it can be public or private the right kind of institutions has to come up uh, to cater this much of population see our population is very uh, high and uh, we e- even uh, the global uh, the, in the global scenario every con- every mncs every corporates are uh, viewing india as the nest hub for uh, uh, for the talent uh, talent uh, resources because at the end of two th- at the, the year of 2030 or 2015 in between a maximum percentage of our population would be youth but uh, how much youth are sk- skilled enough to get an uh, employment or to get get an uh, to get an 
to prove himself in his or his or her business entrepreneur journey so uh, without this uh, education is primarily uh, building a character and building in competencies and uh, building up core values but uh, we see education uh, right now as an uh, as an uh, as an element which facilitates which gives you a job which which gives you a job or which gives you a placement so the uh, the trend the trend happened to be uh, like this over the over a period of uh, 10 to 15 years uh, to 22 to 24 years which pressurizing which uh, which imposing pressure which imposing uh, anxiousness which imposing tension on the students fraternity i believe so uh, these are the challenges uh, apart from covid 19 uh, which we need to emphasize which we need to uh, see and uh, according to that we need to plan according to that we need to uh, strategize ourselves according to that we need to implement our uh, plannings implement our uh, activities so that uh, students get benefited at the end of the day uh, when, when we build a student uh, equal like we we building a nation so per capita income increases gdp uh, gdp increases uh, industrial industrial happens over india even market uh, develops market grows so uh, talent the right kind of talent has to be imbibed in a student and the right kind of skills has to be imbibed in the student so it's an every once it's an every uh, everybody's responsibilities uh, to make a students uh, prepared for an industry or to uh, get in right kind of skills or exposure you know he her or his uh, educational career what what i mean to say so the responsibility is on the government the responsibility is on the social structure the responsibility is on the friends the relatives on the family as well and the even much more responsibilities is on the student so he has to be vocal about uh, his ideas he has to be vocal about his thoughts he he need to have an uh, clear thought he need to have a clear idea about what he has to learn or what he has to uh pitch in or what he has to uh what he call try out in his professional career or what he has to build build his profession uh, according to his interest and passion when passion lies you give your 100% when passion lies you give your uh, uh, 101% and you uh, stretch yourselves to the maximum extent and it develops the nation and uh, it increases the market growth it increases the competitiveness it increases everything so that's how uh, the student has to be a student has to be ready uh, ready for the industry needs and uh, he has to be upgraded himself he has to be updated himself so that uh, he, he shouldn't be uh, like uh, fall short back in terms of uh, the recent trends of the industries so the challenges are many but these are the fundamental challenges for any institution or the government or the uh, social structure where uh, we need to uh, like support our uh, education system and support our uh, students fraternity as well yeah so that real thank you very much sir that's very insightful messages you have given us today about resilience thank you yeah thank you for uh, being with us and uh, like sharing your insights to our viewers sir. thank you Thank you so much, and uh, it's been a wonderful interaction, uh, and it's been a wonderful interview. Uh, in in terms of uh, the kind of quality questions which you asked, the kind of uh, need of the hours of the questions you have asked. We are, so even uh, I am uh, the representative of Risali. We've been associated with Kali Dunia for past two years. and the services has been uh, top notch from your side the support system from uh, uh, has been top notch and uh, you always been for the, for for us in the in challenge times and uh, even in, in the complications or uh, disturbances which we cause day to day uh, when you uh, offer your services or when you promote your services this is a great initiation this is a great initiative uh, taken by college dunia where uh, uh, students get uh students have awareness about the institutions the kind of institutions that they have in india and the kind of challenges uh, which they face and the kind of uh, suggestions invaluable suggestions given by the industry leaders and the vips and the indian persons is invaluable to the students fraternity i think uh, it's been and welfare it's been 
equality uh, initiation so i would uh, personally appreciate and applaud uh, for the kind of program which you been as uh, which you have been conducted and i personally thank uh, from my bottom of fire my heart so it has to be a continual uh, uh, in the coming years too so thank you so much and uh, i would uh, personally thank uh, rajesh and uh, you as you been uh, following up from the past uh, week or so so lazing this interview meant uh, a lot to me and a lot to the college dunia as well uh, the suggestions which i made i do not believe as a suggestions i believe it's my view points rather than my suggestions so that's how it is thank you for uh, having me here and thank you for uh, thanks for the connect and thanks for uh, interviewing me thank you okay sir thank you very much sir thank you so much